Yes, sir. That was so. <laughs> that was funny and awesome. Attention, citizens. This is an Omega One priority alert. Oh God. Potentially disruptive nonconformists are. I need statues. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. Oh damn it all. See. Oh, we're in the recycling bin. What do we do now, Doc? Hmm. What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. It, it, it's time. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. Is she my mom? Where is the DeLorean? Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck code to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine, as in Clara Clayton? Why, is that significant? <laughs> well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. Shouldn't we go help? Hmm. Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. Oh, she just met you. What was Edna do? Why are you asking her? You know what she, she was the about heck to was Edna doing to you uh, back do the then? whole zombification. She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. That's pretty fucked up. Ooh, Dad. Oh, the punch! All right, Dad. The punch returns. Why'd you marry her? Anyway? No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's she's kind of crazy. Yes, now, but back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. What? Uh, at least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Oh, you were blinded by love. Aw, just like, that's true love right there. Oh, God. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. George, go ninja. The time Protect your woman. None of this will ever have happened. Oh, God. I guess you're right. It sucks. Oh my god, even more. How much <laughs> how much Looks backup like the coast do you need? Is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? What? Why? Come on, we're a team. Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to nineteen thirty one. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley and fix do the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry, if things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. <laughs> See? We're making progress already. <laughs> See, Martin. Oh, everything's Good back. Luck, Your everything's Honor. going back to normal. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Wait, why? Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Why? Hey. Damn it. Why? Hey! He's not coming back, you know. Oh, no. Oh, what God. are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. That's not true. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built. You built a drone. A city full of drones. You inspired him to do bad things, yeah. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Everyone's unique in their own way. He's capable of doing it. I'm, I'm gonna save this for the end. <laughs> you think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean. And a flying time train. A train! Posterous. A train, for God's sake. He build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. In, in time, yes. Doc's real wife is much cooler than you are. Oh, God. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's not He's a dog. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting Jesus. to get a little concerned here. Woo! Oh, what's this now? He fixed it that quick. 
It worked! Ha ha! One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! What? Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ha-ha! Emmett! Don't do this! What? You need help! Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the <laughs> past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> <gasps> what? How long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? It's just a minute. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds. I'm so confused. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, oh, yeah. our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Ooh, did you hear that? That you're the worst mistake in this fucking Fine. life. Leave. <laughs> Goodbye, old grumpy bitch. How can you? You're stuck here. Run this town. Not for long. <laughs> God, this episode is it. It's just been so gosh darn fun, yo. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call Let's set out. Yeah, Doc! Did you hear that, people? We have to call him Doc now. Nice. All right. And we're back. Bad. We're going back in time, back to 1931, back to 1931, back to 1931, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I last saw him, you, teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh, luckily my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there, I mean, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Oh, I'll be... That'd be well, pretty good. Will you look at that? The old town theater. <laughs> oh, I can understand. I can understand his feelings. I mean, after so long of corrupting our fucking town and not seeing this old nostalgic feeling of the movie theater, I'll just go with. Very cool. Very I cool. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. <laughs> Say, remember, public enemy? Why, you dirty rat? No good yellow belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. But you're going to now. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination. Exactly. Inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Oh, Jesus. That thing should have, like, <laughs> well, fucking broke I? his knees. It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Sons of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper. <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? What? What's going on? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. <laughs> oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to. Stay Go forward and check it out. Stay focused. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Oh, there we go. go. I'll let snazzy you know white gone. suit. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions of billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. <laughs> Look at my suit. Mm, it's all snazzy looking. Yo, Emmett. Emmett! Yo, Emmett! 
Nice white suit. I got a brown suit. We should go out pimping together. What you say, Emmett? What you say? Hello, Emmett. Sonny! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Um... <laughs> well, you know, 1968. I mean, where else could I be hiding? Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... Oh, I God, why did I say entertaining it? a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. What did I do? Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Oh, God. Mm, yeah. I can't just say forget Edna. That's too heartbreaking. Uh, girls aren't everything. Yeah, well, girls are great and all, but don't get carried away. Yeah. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, what? Uh, what? And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. Where did I jump Before into this time? It's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non existent. I do good to cook the social utility. What? Social utility? Since when do you care about? The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a what? little confused here. I'm, uh, me too as well. What's going on here? What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo! Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. We didn't Get go back in out, time. We didn't, we didn't go back in time. October 12th! Doc? Oh god, we, we did not go back in time. I mean, we did, but... We jumped ahead, I think, a month or two. Before the first uh, date. Or holding hand in or such. God damn it, Doc! Where are you? Get in there. Can I finally go in through these doors? Can I finally see the courthouse? Come to think of it, it God is damn it. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start. Yeah, two and months. Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits. And the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in the Cenozoic Age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? That's pretty scary. For the time being, I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and oh, see if I can talk teenage you out of possible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, Ain't where can I truth. find her? Where do you think? At the Outside. expo. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. So that whole thing about the time circuits not working properly, this had something to do with it. One can only suspect. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.